Lazarus here and welcome back to another video. So today I'm just down at Lake Conaware. Now I'm at the boat ramp which is really close to my beach house. This is where I'll be fishing a lot on the channel. Just to let you know, I'm gonna reference this place as the boat ramp. So we're just gonna go off the boat ramp right there and we're just gonna try catch something good to eat tonight. And I'm gonna show you how to catch it and cook and fillet it too. Without any further ado, let's get the fishing gear and head down. So now I'm going to show you how I'm going to bait this up to catch some fish today. So basically we just got some chicken thigh right here, uh, or a breast, I can't tell. But we're just going to take a little bit off. You actually really just need half of this for one hook, so. Okay, so that's what you want right there. We got two, because we got two hooks on. We're going to grab our first hook. All we're going to do is stab the hook through, and then we're going to thread that. Keep threading through the whole thing. It's like that. You always want a bit of your hook standing out too because they're not that smart to realize and you'll hook them easier. And I'll just do the second one and then we'll cast this rod out. Okay, right here guys, oh. right here we have the silver trevally. Now we actually, we're going to put this one back, it's way too small. But we just got given this salmon right here that they just caught some other people. So we're going to cook that up tonight. And we've also got a just legal silver trevally. We're going to cook him up too. But we're going to try fish for some more because we're getting loads of bites. So we're going to put in some more rods with our pippies now and hopefully catch some more trevally and salmon. Oh, you got something. Ah, it's a little salmon. Actually, you might just be leaked. Ugh. No. Okay. Ah, it's a baby salmon. Beautiful. It's better than nothing. Right here we got another baby salmon. We're gonna pop him back. Okay, so right here we caught a little ling or some sort of catfish. So this is a pretty cool thing right here. I think it's a baby because it is quite slimy without scales yet. Really interesting though, if you look at its face, this one heck of a face right there. This is just a really beautiful fish. We're gonna put him back, but it's pretty rare for this area, to be honest. We're gonna put it back, and that's actually it for today. That's all we caught, the trevally and the salmon, so pop this guy back and we'll head home and cook the trevally and the salmon up. Let's do it. Okay, so we have the fish right here. We got the salmon, and we've got the trevally. So let's start with the trevally. So what we're gonna do, first of all, is we're going to get under here, and we're going to cut down lightly until we reach the bones. We're gonna kind of cut along the bones. We're gonna make a nice fillet. So, crease along the bones. Just like that, you've got a fillet. Now we're going to try, grab the skin and we're gonna peel it off. Just like that, you, you should have a nice plain fillet. Then we're going to cut it off. Just like that, you got a nice fillet right there. We might cut it up into a bit of some smaller pieces though, and then we'll uh, do the rest for the trevally. Okay, now we have the salmon, so we have all the little pieces right there. Now with the salmon, we're just gonna do the same thing. Basically, we just cut down till we find the middle. All the way till we get down to there. And then we're going to find the skin again. Peel it down like that. Just like that. And then we're going to cut that off. And then bam, you got another fillet. We're gonna cut that up. Just 
like that. It'll be bigger than the trevally, but we're going to then do the other side of the salmon and we'll get back to you. Okay, so we just rinsed all of the uh, little fillets of the fish. So now what we're gonna do is we have flour and then we have one egg right here mixed with salt and then we have some shredded coconut and then we'll put the finished results there. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring our first fillet. Uh, we're going to dab it in flour, get it all over and then bring it to the egg just like that and then move it to the coconut uh, and the coconut should stick just try to get it all all around and just like that you got your little crumb to fill it right there put that down we'll do the rest and then uh, we'll cook them up so we've finished all the fillets right here now it's all crumbed and ready to be cooked I'm really excited because it looks really nice not yet the end results but there's the marinating results. So now we're going to head down to the frying pan. We're going to chuck some oil on it and then we're going to put these on and cook them up. Okay, so we've got the oil in the pan right now, just enough. And now we're going to put it on the little stove right there and we'll put in the fillets. Turn on the gas. Turn it up and uh, light up the thing. Just make sure that the oil's really hot when you put the fish in. So the oil's nice and hot now, which it's dangerous just how you like it. So now we're going to put the little fillets onto the pan. So you've got to be very careful not to get splashed. It's gonna do that. Hear yeah, that sizzle? That's what you want. So then uh, you just put the whole thing on and then you just separate it out just like that. We're going to flip them over after about a minute or so, so we'll get back to you on that. So now we're just going to flip them over. You can see there's a nice cooked half right there. So you just flip them over. You can do it with um, a spatula or you can also do it with tongs, however you like. It all depends on the size though. But with pieces this small, you do want to make sure that you have a, um, that you only leave these on for a minute or less. Okay, so it's about time. It's 30 seconds later and it's about time to put them on the plate. Um, so one's the other, put them on the plate and then they should be ready. Let them sit for at least a few minutes, just let them cool down a little and then they should be ready to eat. Now we've got the fish all ready to eat now. So I've got one piece on right now. Since I've mixed up the trevally and the salmon, I know they both taste amazing. So we'll just, we're just going to eat one today. It is a bit burnt, but this is the first time. Uh, we've actually cooked small little pieces like this today, so I'm going to eat this and I'm going to tell you what I think and uh, if you should actually do the same thing. Okay, so let's go. It's actually nice, it's crunchy and then got the fish flavour too with a bit of the coconut essence, so that's definitely a big thumbs up for that. There's just a few bones, that's why, sorry. Hesitating, but so overall this tasted really good and I'm uh, that's actually the end of the video today You should definitely try this method out at home. Definitely. Yeah, so um basically that was today's video the coconut batter I hope you enjoyed. Thanks mm. so much for watching guys And if you enjoyed the video, please do a thumbs up and go subscribe and go home and do this yourself, too um, Thank you guys so much mm. for watching Have a great day. I'll see you all in the next video